morning and welcome to Century 21 Bradley's Home Connection. I'm Vicki Harding. With me today I have Carrie Morningstar with uh, Century 21 Bradley, her pro team. We also have Lamont Hamilton who is on the pro team with Carrie and also a Fort Wayne firefighter. We have some very valuable information that we're going to be sharing with you today. A story from Carrie that you're going to want to hear all about. So enjoy today's show. We're going to get started here with the first home of the day, but don't go anywhere. We have some great information we're going to be sharing with you. Looking for a modern ranch on acreage? Then look no further. This custom-built three-bedroom, three-and-a-half bath, split-bedroom ranch home will not disappoint. The contemporary glass front invites you into the open, sophisticated home, enhanced with cool gray tones, painted white trim, and unique light fixtures throughout. The foyer, great room, kitchen, hallway, half bath, and utility room feature Cortec flooring and the great room is highlighted with an ultra-modern fireplace featuring colored stones, LED lights with remote starter, and a wall of windows to enjoy the private wooded backyard. The spacious kitchen includes granite countertops, self-closing cabinets and drawers, a modern backsplash, a 10-foot island, and a walk-in pantry. The master bath includes custom tiled shower, double vanity with granite countertop, tile flooring, and a walk-in closet. The hall bath also features a double vanity with granite countertops, and the utility room includes cabinets, shelving, and a sink. The custom open stairway is highlighted with modern metal spindles, and the finished daylight basement includes nine-foot ceilings, large windows, family room, rec area, full bath, and unfinished storage. Outside, you'll enjoy relaxing on the back patio overlooking the huge property. Be sure to put this on your must-see list and call Tana Magus Lee today for a personal tour. This classic home built by Joe Sullivan boasts over 4,000 square feet, including four bedrooms, two and a half baths, and is adorned by mature trees on a lovely cul-de-sac lot. The family room features a floor-to-ceiling brick wood-burning fireplace with gas starter, a vaulted ceiling, built-in bookcases and cabinets, and natural light with a triple sliding door. The kitchen has newer stainless steel double wall oven with convection, stainless French door refrigerator, dishwasher, and electric gen air cooktop. The island offers bar seating, and the pantry allows great storage, and a planning desk provides plenty of organization. The formal living room and dining room will host many fantastic gatherings. This home offers a laundry room with utility sink, countertops, and storage. The master suite includes a large bedroom, and the master suite includes a large bedroom with ensuite bathroom and a walk-in closet. The other three bedrooms are generously sized, and the hall bathroom has two sinks along with a linen closet. The finished daylight basement is wide open space and has a storage room with cabinet. The side load garage is oversized and includes a huge shelf storage room. Hurry to see this gem with a great location near Georgetown Square. Call Katie Brown today. Tired of cookie cutter homes? Check out this huge home offering over 2,700 square feet of easy living. This custom built four bedroom, two and a half bath home is unique with rounded brick walls throughout the home. Plenty of room for everyone with a large living room with a wall of windows and a fireplace plus a spacious family room with built-ins, fireplace and opens to the four season room. The main level also features an updated kitchen with quartz countertops, dining room, and the master bedroom. The upper level offers a lofted den and three bedrooms plus a full bath. The lower level gives you a rec space and a third fireplace. Outside you'll love the three-tiered deck overlooking a large fenced yard perfect for kids, pets, and a future garden. Conveniently located in the Southwest Allen County School District, major shopping, and I-69, this home is a must-see. Call Sandy Gratz today for your personal tour. Completely remodeled and ready for you. Check out this three-bedroom ranch home with a spacious great room, a large eat-in kitchen, and newly carpeted bedrooms. The kitchen has stainless steel appliances, updated countertops, and new flooring that also leads way to the laundry area. The bathroom has been updated as well and has new flooring. Outside, you'll love the large half-acre lot that's partially fenced. Be sure to call Jennifer Camperman today for your personal tour. Want a piece of heaven? Look no further. This charming home has it all. This home offers almost 1,400 square feet of easy living, plus an additional finished walkout lower level, perfect for entertaining. You'll love the space in the great room, and meal prep will be a snap in the kitchen. 
The kitchen offers lots of cabinets and plenty of quartz countertops. You can eat in the kitchen or in the formal dining room. This home offers three bedrooms and two and a half baths, and the master bedroom has a wonderful balcony. You'll find plenty of room for family time or entertaining as you enjoy the walkout basement with a huge family room complete with a gas fireplace. The laundry room is just steps away and has a half bath and additional storage. Relax and enjoy your favorite beverage from the large 20-foot deck or huge patio as you watch the deer wander the three acres of grounds. Call Sandy Gratz today for a personal tour. We know that your home is more than just walls that surround you. We know it's where you experience life, where you dream and grow and write your unique story. When that time comes where life brings change, which could include selling your home, it would be a privilege to send one of our professional realtors to you. To make that happen, text the word OK to this number. OK, let's talk real estate. When you think of your dream home, what comes to mind? A farmhouse in the country? A condo downtown? A renovated summer cottage by the lake? Three Rivers is here to make your home ownership dreams a reality. Whether you're looking to build, buy, or remodel, we service our mortgages and home equity loans locally, ensuring you receive fast, accurate, and personalized service before, during, and even after you close on your loan. Stop by your nearest Three Rivers branch today or apply online at threeriversfcu.org slash home. back to Century 21 Bradley's Home Connection. In case you just tuned in, we're here today bringing you some very valuable information. And part of that is talking to Carrie Morningstar. Here's her story. Carrie Morningstar and I've been with Century 21 Bradley 13 years, but I've been in real estate for 33 years. Well, almost a year ago, actually it was a year ago yesterday, I was visiting some friends down in Florida and I got a call that my house was on fire. And at first I thought my neighbor was joking because she's a cute little girl and we joke back and forth and she sent me a picture. And when she sent me a picture, I was totally flabbergasted because I couldn't believe, it was like I was in a dream, I couldn't believe my house was on fire. I called my son and said, please get over to my house right away. So my son got there and he started FaceTiming me so I could see uh, the, the burning in progress as it will. I never imagined in my wildest dreams that something like this would happen. We had that great big ice storm last year and a limb came down and um, on the power line because it was too heavy with the ice. The wire came from one end to the other end from the pole to my house and that's what it hit and what ended up happening is it arced into my house. But that just meant that the electrical surges came back into the house and one of the ways they knew that for sure that it happened is one, when the volunteer firemen came to ex extinguish the fire, they put the uh, ladder up against the gutter and realized that there was some electrical current in the home. I ended up having five Five uh, fire departments come. I had the um, volunteers from uh, Cedar Township, Washington S Township, St. Joe, Huntertown, and in the end, a Boyd Township came out. So you can imagine there were 40 firemen there. I just wanted to get home. I just wanted to get home and um, see what I could do. And of course, I thought, oh gosh, it can't be that bad. And what can I save? And in a moment's notice, everything is gone. So all I had was a suitcase because my car was in the garage. That also was destroyed. But coming home, everything that I owned now was in a, a, a suitcase, a travel on suitcase. That's all I had. I don't have a winter coat. I don't have shoes I, or boots. I don't have mittens. When I got there, of course, it didn't seem so bad to me when I pulled up because the facade of the house was pretty much intact other than the windows were uh, boarded up because it was stone and brick in the front. So when I walked around back, there was just a couple roof beams still up and one half of a wall. And just just in an instant you realize how fast your life could you know go by because had we been in the house we would have been electrocuted 
I was so fortunate because I had friends and family who rallied around me. And that's what I love about Century 21 is they came to the rescue and helped me. Century 21 right away had mittens and boots and a coat for me and people were bringing in bags of clothes for me because I had absolutely nothing. Plus being a commissionally based job, I couldn't let that stop me. I had to still keep working because I still had bills I had to pay and things I had to live. So along with trying to navigate getting new items as such as even personal belongings to just trying to function, shampoo, conditioner, toothbrush, toothpaste, I mean things you don't even think about. So the insurance company put me up in a um, all-inclusive uh, housing which included dishes and things like that so I could get acclimated and those were some very lonely evenings and just trying to process and trying to think of what all did I lose. I was thankful that no one's life was lost and I had to just re keeping reevaluating that these are just things but when you lose um, your heirlooms of your grandmothers or your mothers and you lose all your kids pictures it's very devastating. The boots and shoes and things can all be replaced, but those items cannot. But then I keep looking back and going, you know what, no one was hurt. No one in my family, none of the firemen were hurt. Those are blessings. Wow, what an incredible story. Carrie, thank you so much for sharing that. Stay tuned because just a little bit later in the show, we're going to be sharing with you some tips that Carrie learned along the way that hopefully will help you, our viewers. Better than new, why build? This split three bedroom, two bath ranch home has everything you could ask for. As you enter into the large open foyer, you're led to the gracious great room with fireplace and oversized patio doors leading to the covered veranda. The large open kitchen features quartz countertops, a large pantry, tons of cabinets, and a breakfast bar. There's beautiful ceramic tile throughout the kitchen and eating area. And the master has a stylish tray ceiling and a huge walk-in closet, plus a full bath including double vanity. The stone on the front of the home offers great curb appeal, and the private backyard is a bonus. Call Carrie Morningstar today for a personal tour of this great home. This sprawling, spacious, and totally updated four bedroom, three bath ranch home with a heated three and a half car garage is move in ready and is located in Hacienda Village on a big corner lot. The updated kitchen sports two refrigerators, two ovens, and a unique curved window wall new countertop and tile backsplash, and there's a huge pantry and large laundry room with a sink that's conveniently located next to the kitchen. Both the family room and living room have gorgeous stone fireplaces. The living room is now being used as a rec room, complete with a bar. The master bedroom is spacious and has one of three newly updated bathrooms outfitted to today's styles. The home is complete with closets and storage in every room and hallway, and the fourth bedroom is separate with its own bathroom and outside entrance. The windows across the back side of the home offer a beautiful view of the fenced nearly three-quarter acre yard and in-ground swimming pool. This home is perfect inside and out. Call Amy Allison today for a personal showing. Meticulously maintained, large ranch-style home on a full-finished basement and situated on nearly 25 acres in rural Noble County. As you enter this amazing home through the foyer, you'll be in awe of the huge great room with fireplace and coffered ceiling. This home also features a stunning kitchen with custom cabinets with granite countertops and stainless steel appliances and wide plank engineered hardwood floors. The main level master suite is complete with a large walk-in closet and full bath. The fully finished basement offers two additional bedrooms, a full bathroom, plus a completed kitchen. Other amenities to the home include geothermal heating and cooling, whole house generator, and a three-car garage. The exterior of the property features nearly 25 acres that consists of six acres of trees, two acres of wetlands, and several acres of pheasant grass, five acre stock pond with dock, private rear stamped stained covered patio with fire pit, built-in gas grill, and a hot tub. Put this on your must-see list and call Trey Forbes today. A spectacular 10-acre setting with views of the Cedar Creek Reservoir. 
drive through a private stone-gated entrance to a custom-built all-brick ranch home with four bedrooms, three and a half baths, and a total of 3,800 square feet. The double door entry invites you into the spacious grand foyer. Through a brick archway, you'll enter into the deluxe kitchen with Viking stove and custom hood, Corian countertops, center island, wall of cabinets, and a breakfast bar. The kitchen looks into the great room and dining room and combines a warm, rustic feel along with modern amenities. The dining room features a wood-beamed and slated octagon ceiling. There's a wonderful den and has two sets of double French doors, one set leading out to the patio and the other off of the foyer. The master suite is very spacious with two sets of French doors out to the patio, his and her closets, and a dreamy bath with a clawfoot soaking tub, a tiled walk-in shower along with his and her vanities taking center stage. The split bedroom design offers a long hallway featuring a built-in desk and cabinet area and leads to three bedrooms. One with an attached full bath and the other two sharing a Jack and Jill bath. Outside there's also a 60 by 40 state-of-the-art building. This is truly a must-see property. Call Greg Spahib today. This four-bedroom, three-bath home in Eagle River is located on a gorgeous pond lot with a finished daylight lower level, three-car garage, and a covered front porch. Built by Mangos Builders, this home is seven years old but feels just like new. As you walk in, you're greeted with a huge foyer that opens to the formal dining room and living room with coffered ceiling. The 11-foot ceilings in the entry, formal dining room and living room provide a grand feel. In addition to the arched doorways and rounded corners throughout, the kitchen features a breakfast bar, tile backsplash, and plenty of cabinet space. The spacious master bedroom is an ensuite with double sinks, spacious tile shower with dual shower heads, and a walk-in closet. The lower level has loads of open space and is plumbed and wired for your new bar. Here you'll also find another full bath, fourth bedroom, and unfinished space to be used for storage. Outside, the maintenance-free deck provides stunning pond views, and you'll also find a fire pit located close to the water's edge for those relaxing fall evenings. Call Adam Paul today for a personal tour. When you are ready to start your home search or you're ready to put in an offer, visit Ruoff.com and fill out our quick and easy online application. You will receive your pre-approval quickly so you can keep the process moving. You and your real estate agent will receive milestone updates on your loan through every step of the way. In a matter of days, you will receive a clear to close. You can then expedite the closing by e-signing your documents ahead of time. Ruoff's process is simple and straightforward so you can truly enjoy the homeownership dream. Welcome back to today's show. We thank Carrie so much for sharing her story with us. And now she would like to share with you some very valuable information and some tips that she learned along the way through her process here of dealing with the fire and the aftermath. So let's go there now. Carrie's fire was unique uh, from the standpoint that, you know, there are some things that we just can't prevent or foresee. So when you start looking at things like acts of nature, again, out of our hands, but if you want to examine or look at some common causes of fires, we would have to go back to open flames, heat sources, smoking materials, and uh, outlets that maybe aren't protected with uh, GFI switches, uh, those things make a big difference and they go a long way in terms of uh, preventing potentially electrical fires. After I found out about the fire, the first thing I did was get a flight home and then I called my insurance agent and said, hey, guess what? My house is on fire. What happens next? What I didn't realize is the uh, fire department, they'll call a restoration company and secure the property. That way, no one, no one can get hurt because you're still gonna be liable if somebody would get hurt on the property. So they secured the property, and then uh, my insurance company had a rental car available, ready to go, and some uh, corporate housing. Through that process, he's telling me, start writing down things that you can remember that are in your home. 
I met the fire um, inspector there and I also met the adjuster to start helping evaluate because they want to determine what really caused the fire. So with the fire inspector there, they're walking through and that's when they told me that the house had been um, arced because the plugs had blown into the house, the washer and dryer were on its end, the refrigerator in the garage was pulled over because of the, um, the initial electricity going through the house. The devastation is just unbelievable and you're walking. I, someone had lent me boots because um, you're walking in soot and water and um, uh, things like um, your um, insulations down there, your clothing's down there, the pillow stuffings, things are all down there and you're walking and it's up to your knees and you're walking through that stuff and you're trying to evaluate, is there anything in here that's worth saving? I was felt like I was in a dream. I just couldn't believe that this was happening and I, I just saw years of things that I had accumulated or worked hard for or my kids uh, acolytes were all being gone and shuffled around like it didn't matter. I hope and pray this never happens to you but here's some precautionary measures that I wish I would have done. Take pictures, open up your doors, your drawers, open up your cabinets, just take a running video of everything you have. Start jotting down things that are of significance to you because if you don't have receipts, which I didn't, they were all burned, um, how are you gonna prove that you have those things? Because what happens then is the adjuster will meet with you and they give you this huge uh, stack of papers that you have to fill out for every room. And it probably, when it's all said and done, depending on how many items you have, you could be into the 40, 50 pages worth of things that you have to write down. I went through and I, I took pictures then, after it was burnt, to try to help me when in that evenings when I'd sit down, okay, what was here? Uh, but that didn't help with the things that were in my closet. That didn't help with the things that were in the drawers um, or things that I had packed up in my garage of things that I had for the children that I wanted them to keep. I had toys I, I had kept for the kids because I thought when they had their children, they'd like to have to pass that on. I had kept books for them and that didn't even begin to touch any of those things. One of the things that I've taken from this fire experience is how to relate it to my customers and clients that I work with every day. Now, when my client comes to me and says, I'm trying to shop around my insurance, I need to get a good rate, I'm telling them, are you really comparing apples to apples? Because getting the best rate isn't always the best idea because there's so much more involved of the things that, how much do you have for contents? What are they really insuring the house for? because now to replace it, would it cost more than what they, they have as their replacement cost? So you need to really dig in there and figure out what is really being covered on your policy. In Carrie's situation, one of the things that she did that I think is a very good idea is to make sure that you do have someone that you trust who can contact you because a lot of times when you're not at home, you may not be able to pick up the phone and call and say, my house is on fire, you know, 911, I need some help. You know, so having a person that you trust that can, you know, look out for your home and to get in touch with you in situations like that, that's a great idea. After this happened to me, how many of my friends had said to me, I never thought about videotaping, I never thought about taking pictures. I just really want you to take care of your home. It's not just keeping the lawn mowed and those types of things, it's also making sure that you're properly insured. I'm still selling real estate, the fire did not knock me down, and I'm going to be approaching my 34th year. I'm here to help you buy or sell a home, or if you're looking for new home construction, I'm your person. You can reach me at 260-410-8294 or carrymorningstar at gmail.com. All of the lake fun without the maintenance. This is a fabulous three-bedroom, two-and-a-half bath condo with spectacular north views on Hamilton Lake. This place has it all, a dock and private beach with golf cart path to take your cooler and guests out to the water. 
This condo offers a spacious seating kitchen with plenty of cabinets and counter space and has an open view of the great room so you can be part of all the fun. The great room has patio doors leading to the deck overlooking the lake. The main floor master suite is complete with a private full bath and a walk-in closet. And the lower level offers a great family room, rec space, and two additional bedrooms, plus a full bath. See how this could be yours in time for lake season? Call Danielle Jackson today. A beautiful two-bedroom, two-bath condo featuring a wonderful four-season room that overlooks four acres of common ground. As you enter, you're welcomed by the foyer and vaulted living room with gas fireplace. There's also a stairway leading to a loft area that has a special open living space. The large eating kitchen offers plenty of counter space and leads way to the four-season room. The master bedroom offers you a two-story walk-in closet and a full bath with granite countertop vanity. Outside, there's a stone patio with a custom wall for seating. Be sure to call Carrie Morningstar today for a personal tour of this great home. An immaculate craftsman-style home from the early 1900s. Window seats, plate rails, light fixtures, woodwork, built-in china cabinets, and built-in bookshelves. There's deep, wide baseboard trim and pocket doors that set this house apart from others. This home has four bedrooms, three baths, and a full, partially finished walkout basement. The master bedroom is on the main level with a large walk-in closet, a beautiful master bath with double sinks, a two-person jetted tub, and separate shower. And the cook of the family will love the large open kitchen with granite top island with coordinating countertops, a pantry, desk area, and a large country sink, plus another regular sink. The kitchen opens into the hearth room with a corner fireplace and plenty of windows. Also on the main level is a formal dining room and there's another dining room just off of the kitchen, both having built-in china cabinets with glass doors. Also on the main level is a den, full bath, and gorgeous living room, plus an enclosed front porch area. Upstairs, there are three bedrooms, all with walk-in closets and a full bath with shower. The basement has a family room with walk-out entrance and plenty of unfinished area for storage. And there's also a back deck overlooking the field with very peaceful views. For more information on this fantastic home and property, call Michael Vandergriff today. Jim Bradley here, Century 21 Bradley. Let's talk real estate. If you want to know the value of your home, give us a call. Our agents are expert negotiators, skilled facilitators, and marketing masters. Give us a call to find out how to get the highest price for your home. Well, that wraps up another Century 21 Bradley Home Connection. We hope that you've enjoyed today's show. We hope that you got a lot of great information that we were able to share with you today and hopefully take that information and, and use that going forward here. We thank Lamont Hamilton, uh, Century 21 Pro Team, as well as Fort Wayne Firefighter, and of course, Carrie Martin Start. Thank you so much for sharing your story uh, with our viewers here. And again, we hope that uh, you've been able to take something away from that. Don't forget to log on to our website, century21bradley.com for more information on all the homes that you've seen today and also reach out to Carrie if uh, you would like to buy or sell a home. And we appreciate you watching our show. We'll see you next week.